Good morning students. Welcome to Leela Studio. Today we will continue the class where we have discussed about the manipulation of the cells. Under manipulation of the cells we have learned that there are different types of gene modification techniques. Right. So today we will see the first uh, method or the first technique which is nothing but your transfection. So what do you mean by transfection? Transfection is a process of introducing the nucleic acids into the eukaryotic cell, right? The nucleic acids are nothing but here the plasmid DNA or the cDNA or any the gene of interest or the DNA fragments where we are going to introduce either directly into the nucleus or into the cytoplasm of an eukaryotic cell, right? So here the transfection is classified into three types. The first one is the physical method, chemical method and biological method of transfection. So under physical method, here the physical method you have again four types which are widely used. So here this is the electroporation, micro injection, biolistic, laser mediated transfection. So all these are physical methods where you are not making use of any chemicals or any other organism. Whereas in case of chemical method of transfection, you make use of certain chemicals. The methods used are calcium phosphate precipitation technique, lipofection, cation polymers, membrane fusion. Right here, all uh, no organism is involved directly. Right, we are not uh, using any uh, other vector for introducing the gene of interest. We are using only the chemicals. Right? And here it is the biological method of gene transfer where we make use of only the viruses. Right? So here it is also referred as transduction or viral mediated gene transfer or the viral mediated transfection. So here let us discuss today the physical methods. Right? So in case of physical methods, it is the instruments or which are used to introduce the DNA into the target cell. So in last class we have discussed the four steps. First step is you are going to identify the animal which is having the gene of interest or the desired characteristic. Then that particular gene will be isolated. Then that is going to uh, be introduced into the target cell. So that you get a new trait of organism. So here already we have isolated the gene of interest. So how we are going to introduce that into the target cells. So these are the target cells which I have shown here. Right. And this is the first technique which is electroporation. Second technique micro injection. Third technique biolistic. Fourth one laser mediated. So here first let us see what do we mean by electroporation technique. So electroporation or it is also referred as electro permeabilization it is also referred as electro permeabilization where you are creating an uh, impulse that means sorry you are creating an electric pulse where you are going to generate the uh, shock to the cells. The electric pulse is only for few milliseconds. How much electric pulse you are going to give? It is 1000 volts. Right? Only for few milliseconds. So when you are giving this shock for milliseconds, the pores present inside the cell will be open in the plasma membrane. The pores are formed in the plasma membrane of the target cell. So now here you have a suitable buffer in which the positive and the negative electrodes are generating this impulse, right? So now you have this target cell when there is a thousand volt supply for milliseconds, what is happening? The plasma membrane pores are open or the pores are created in the plasma membrane. Here you can see the DNA is freely suspended in the buffer what you have provided. So as the pores are formed, this DNA will escape inside and enter into the cell. Then gets integrated into the nucleus. 
so now you can see the target cell consisting of the foreign dna it has been introduced by means of your physical method that is electroporation right this is the first technique in the second technique it is micro injection the micro injection you can see this is the glass syringe through which the desired dna is injected directly into the cell right so now you have the cell here into the nucleus sometimes we introduce only into the cytoplasm that is cytoplasmic gene transfer technique whereas here it is nuclear gene transfer technique where you are introducing directly into the nucleus so here by viewing under the microscope we hold the cell mostly we go for the oocytes or the egg cell the fertilized egg or the egg cell you are going to hold it right you are going to hold the cell with the suction pipette so this is the suction pipette with which you are going to hold the cell so that it will not move then by means of glass syringe right it is like a spine needle right which is the diameter of the hair it is same so here with that you are going to introduce the desired dna into the target cell nucleus okay as a result you get your genetically modified or the cell containing the foreign gene right then next coming to the third method biolistic method so in case of biolistic method we also call this as gene gun method we also call it as gene gun or micro projectile method right so or we also call it as particle bombardment method we also call it as particle bombardment method so in this technique here you have a setup in such a way that this is the apparatus which consists of a piston right to the piston here you have some particles these are nothing but your gold or tungsten particles gold or tungsten particles which are very small right 1 nanometer size and they are coated with the dna which you want to introduce into the target cell right so you have a small nano particles which consists uh, which are made up of gold or tungsten and they are coated with the desired dna of interest so now when the piston is pushed with high pressure right so with high velocity the particle the piston completely will move down and hit this barrier this is the barrier to which this piston with a high speed it comes and hits and move back but the particles they escape from this uh, narrow opening and they with a high, very high velocity they enter into the target cells as a result the desired dna or the dna which is coated to the particles will enter into your eukaryotic cells is that clear so this is another way of transferring the desired dna and you have the last technique which is laser mediated gene transfer technique so in this laser mediated gene transfer technique you are making use of pulsed laser beam right so this pulsed laser beam consists of 532 nanometers right at 6 nanoseconds so here when it passes through this uh, setup you have an absorbing plate and the transparent plate right so here the laser plasma is created through which it will move and they are all the cells are getting irradiated with this laser rays when the laser rays falls on these target cells they result in creating an transient pores and these pores are self healing right once the pores are formed right once the pores are formed the buffer containing the dna or the plasmid dna will enter into the target cells right as the pores are self healing they get healed up and you get an 
for uh, you get an eukaryotic cell containing the foreign dna is that clear so these are the three transfection methods so today we have discussed about the physical methods the first one electroporation micro injection gene gun method and the laser mediated gene transfer technique so here with this you can obtain a cell which is having the foreign dna whatever the dna you have isolated from the animal right you have selected some animal from that you have isolated the gene of interest and that gene or the dna has to be introduced into the eukaryotic cells so here by this way you can introduce into the eukaryotic cell then you can culture the cell allow them to proliferate to get the desired organism right so here with this we have done with the physical methods so out of all these methods which will be more efficiently working right so it is the second technique that is your micro injection technique where it is 100% successful in transferring the dna because you are selecting the single cell and you are injecting directly into that cell right and the second technique is your electroporation technique then followed by your biolistic and the laser is that clear if you have any doubts in this physical method of transfection you can put it in comments right the next one the chemical method and the biological method we'll discuss in the next lecture